My name is Alexandria Naonike. I'm a character concept artist at Naughty Dog Video Game Company in Los Angeles, and I also do freelance children's book illustration. So today I've kind of pre-done a little rough sketch of Ellie from The Last of Us. And so I'm going to kind of finish that up a little bit and sort of talk through my process. So I normally do not work fast at all. I'm a pretty slow drawer. I take my time with doing this stuff. So yeah, it's kind of weird for me to try to do a speed painting at all. But this is kind of close to what I would start with when I do a painting at work. Like I said, I already have kind of a base down and I just sort of go in and tighten stuff up and I'll adjust stuff as I go. I remember I used to like watch people do this on things like this and I would think like, oh man, everybody draws really fast and I can't draw fast. And now I realize that like, it's fine. I draw slow and that's totally valid. <laughs> So I actually started in games about 11 years ago now. I started as a UI designer. So I did like the HUD, like the gun icons and all that stuff. And I'd always done illustration. I'd always wanted to like kind of try doing concept or um, illustrative work. The time I've been at Naughty Dog, which has been six and a half years now, I voiced that I would like to maybe move into a character concept role. It took me a little bit to transfer over. All of Uncharted 4, I continued to do the UI as well as starting to get a bit into concept. And then finally on Last of Us Part 2, I made the full-time transition into doing concept art. I still bring a lot of what I learned doing UI to the table as well. I work only digitally. Like I really don't do any professional work traditionally. I, I do traditional work for fun, like I'll do gouache and stuff like that. I use the Kyle Webster brushes in Photoshop and in Procreate right now I'm using, it's the default pencil brush. Procreate does a nice thing where like good sensitivity on if you like use the side of the brush, which I don't get as much of that when I use Photoshop. When I started drawing it was like, um, I was in seventh grade, it was like 97 or something where I started really seriously getting into digital art. I kind of did the opposite of most people. Like most people start with pen and ink or you know watercolor or whatever. And I was fully a digital artist from the beginning. So yeah, a lot of her design was done by Ashley Swadowski. Like her updated the Tilu 2 look. So obviously we've aged her up a little bit. And uh, yeah, so she's 19 years old. She's obviously older than she was. She was 14 in um, Last of Us Part One. So just trying to make her feel a little bit of an older teen and a bit more serious, I guess. She still has that like iconic little swoop of hair, which is like one of her defining features. And, and she still has like her scar and all that stuff, kind of like has the button nose going on. But we changed up her hair, obviously, to update it and make her feel, you know, like she's changed her hairstyle since she was uh, 14. Yeah, I really liked the direction that we ended up going with the new Ellie. She's also really fun to draw. So at this point, I've kind of gotten all of my like basic lines roughed in and I go through now like, like I said, you can use kind of like the edge of the pen tool in this and sort of get like some rough shading in. It's a little like finicky sometimes for me, but like I said, I'm like an iterative person. I don't usually get it right on the first time. I have to, I'll draw things like 20 times before I feel like, okay, it's where I want it to be and I'll move forward from there. Children's book stuff by its nature is a little different than The Last of Us. Kind of different in theme and also in the treatment. A lot of the children's book stuff I've done has been like, you know, pretty sweet, really stylized. Also, kind of what you're trying to accomplish is a little bit different because you're going through you know, 28 pages in a children's book and how you pace that. My approach to them isn't drastically different, like in how I actually draw them. How I go about designing the spreads is fairly different. You know, in a children's book, you're pulling the eye from the left side of the page to the right side of the page, but it still all uses the same drawing and painting fundamentals that I have from doing concepts. So my favorite part is actually like the part that I'm not showing here, which is the research. And I spend a ton of time, like sometimes days, researching for a painting, which is like, kind of trying to figure out what I'm trying to say with it, like what the narrative beat is, and trying to find good photo reference or shoot my own photo reference. That's where I find I get kind of creative with it. Like the rest of it sort of becomes technical for me. So when I'm searching for photo reference, I'll be like, oh, this is like a really cool pose. I didn't think of using this. Like how can I implement, like get this into the piece? I used to hate that part. I used to never use reference just because I hated finding it and it took forever and I just wanted to be done the painting. Um, and now my process is like completely changed. I'll spend so much time looking for that. I'll spend less time actually making it. 
got really scratchy. I don't normally work, I usually like tighten stuff up. In my personal process, there's a lot of iterating in the process of coming up with the character. There's a ton of iteration and um, you can't ever get like too precious or too tied to uh, your idea or your um, painting because it just might not serve the story. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of throwing out work and starting again and all that stuff and you gotta just sort of roll with it and not take it too personally or anything. The nature of our company, anyone can come and chime in, like anyone can have a say about um, kind of any aspect of the game. So we'll get feedback from across the company. Uh, it's a pretty collaborative company to work for in general. This is the part where usually I get too noodly, so I might undo a bunch of this stuff. <laughs> Just learn and procreate as I go. <laughs> I've actually used it like a little bit, but it's always when I'm on trips and stuff. Like I, some people use it as their full tool and it's really cool to see them be able to turn this into like their full setup, but I'm very tied to Photoshop. They have these key features, like all of them do, like Ellie's got her little, oh, it's too dark. Ellie's got her freckles and her swoopy hair. Clothing will be a big part of it. Like when you look at somebody, you kind of get a sense for who they are, are based on how they're dressed. Posture, I find you get a lot out of posture, like how they're standing will say a lot about them. And I mean, if you just look around, like think about you when you're tired, like you tend to look a certain way or when you're excited about something, like, you know, you, your body language and kind of your facial expressions and all that stuff, give that away. So yeah, I try to think about it from that perspective. Like when I do um, character work and we're trying to like get across the personality, I'll pick poses that I feel tell a little bit about that. So when a person looks at it, they're like, I get a general sense of who this person is. She has like the little t-shirt on with the palm trees on it. And she says, I believe it's in Left Behind, um, where she talks about how she wants to go see palm trees one day. So it's like, that's a little, personality quirk of hers, like that's a desire of hers to go see this place and obviously she thinks about it a lot because she wears it on a t-shirt. She wears uh, sneakers and jeans and things like, that, like things that you would associate with being an average teen girl. She's into like punky music and things like that. So you get a sense of who she is from the stuff she wears and the stuff she's interested in and surrounds herself with. With my process in general, I tend to start with the big shapes and my sketches tend to be, um, really, really loose and I don't, like when I start a sketch, like I don't get a lot of detail in. It's just kind of like a really rough general shape and then I'll like cut in and get more detail as I go. And then I also will often leave some of it out for the painting. Um, Cause like my next step with something like this would be to actually like, you know, go in and color and paint it. My name is Alexandria Nike and I drew Ellie.